So you can wow. see, look, they're, they're, they're pulling it together. What, what's your reaction? Well, you know, I used to organize things like that. I was the president of National Organization for Women in Los Angeles. My activism actually began with abortion rights mm -hmm. way back in the 80s. And one of my big fights with the left was that they really didn't want to solve problems because it, the problems like this, uh, abortion rights, raise too much money. So when I see this, I, re I realize that... They want the fight to drag they on. They want the fight to drag on. They, you know, there's ways that Americans can be able to come together when it comes to issues of privacy, uh, making... And the, the, the chant used to be making abortion uh, safe, uh, illegal, safe, and, and rare, rare. Yeah. right? Uh, and of course now that's even changing to a degree. There's, there's some who are trying to make this uh, a romantic or exciting or heroic thing. Well... In fact, let me let me yes. tell you about that right. because Michelle Wolf, uh, last we checked, uh, remember last we heard from her, she was at the White House Correspondents' Dinner where she ridiculed Sarah Sanders and made some pretty disturbing remarks about abortion. Look at this. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like she burns facts and then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. <laughs> like maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. Probably lies. Pence is also very anti-choice. He thinks abortion is murder, which, first of all, don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> and when you do try it, really knock it. You know, you got to get that baby out of there. Uh, I was in the room. There were people mm -hmm. of all political stripes mm -hmm. groaning at that. Well, on the latest episode of her Netflix show, Wolf held what you might call a pretty bizarre celebration for, as you suggested a moment ago, abortion. Watch. Is there not a way to be for abortion rights as, as a right without mm -hmm. celebrating abortion itself that way? See, obviously that's where for those Americans who are pro-choice, it really is about not wanting, as it is for me, the government, while I was also opposed to Obamacare, the government having a say in what we can mm -hmm. say and do with our doctor. Uh, while at the same time making it not something that you want to go do. Nobody says, oh, I, I really wish next year I could have an abortion. Well, Michelle uh, Wolf seems well, to. Well, you see, and this is what I think is a mistake for, for, for individuals like that. This is now a shift from, because they know that the world has changed. It's the 21st century. Uh, abortions are at the lowest rate historically. Um, and and f for me, it's about women being able to have enough money, enough resources, and optimism in the future so that they feel as though they can have that child if they want to. These are the things we should be working on so that women actually are able to make the choices that best suit them. That kind of attitude and approach is rejected amongst Americans. I don't know. She, I, I think it's important, though, that we realize that she does not, I don't believe, represent, she does, certainly mm -hmm. doesn't believe most liberals. Yeah. I heard from a number of people who saw this when it yeah. aired, that, that, who are liberals who did not like it, and it, it's, it's certainly not where By most the Americans way, she sit. went on to say, look, access to abortion is good and important. Some people say abortion is killing a baby. It's not, she said. It's stopping a baby from happening. That's something that's going to cause a lot of controversy. Tammy Bruce, yeah. appreciate you.